So in spring of 2022, we will be getting a video game based on Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. When I saw this announced, I couldn't believe it. I'm just like, how are you going to make a video game out of that? My first thought is it's going to be another visual novel because that's what they do with the anime series like this. What, what can they do, to, do for a game? Oh, it's just going to be a visual novel because those used to come out all the time, like only in Japan. It's America nowadays now gets visual novels, but man, back then, like I think like the early 2010s and 2000s and even in the 90s, maybe not the 90s, maybe just the early 2000s and 2010s, but yeah, visual novels always came out for these and for these games based on anime you didn't think could make, could be made a game out of, but yeah. This one, however, is not a visual novel. It's a shoot 'em up a shmup, and I'm just like, huh, a shoot 'em up based on Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, hmm, so not much info has been released about this game, you know, there hasn't been much gameplay, I mean, there was a teaser trailer, but I don't think it showed any gameplay, oh, we've seen some screenshots, I'll probably post them in this video, but, and the reason I'm making this video, I wasn't going to make a video, well, I was debating on whether to make a video about this or not, but, some recent news has come out about this game that I need to talk about, because this is something I've talked about before, which has to do with censorship. Which, they, ha they haven't said anything about it, but this is, this is more of a, of a prediction for me. So, before we get into that, I'll go, and tell I'll go and tell you guys about this game, since I looked on YouTube and not many people have talked about this game. It's mostly to people that are just re-uploading the teaser trailer and showing the screenshots, so... Yeah, let's see. Yeah, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid Burst Forth Choro Gone Breath, hope I'm pronouncing that right, announced for PS4 and Switch. Do out in English and Japanese in spring 2022. Now, I hope when it says that, I'm hoping it just means that the about the text and not the not the not the um, voice acting, because I'm not a big fan of the dub of this of this anime. I prefer I prefer sub. I mean, in general, I prefer subs over dubs. So, yeah. But let's see. And. If you know, if you've watched my videos before, you know I'm reading all this from uh, Gematsu, but I'll still link the articles in the description below. But yeah, publisher Bushi Road and developer Kaminari Games have announced shoot 'em up game Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid Burst Forth Chorogon Breath for PlayStation 4 and Switch. It will launch in spring 2022 in both English and Japanese versions. Fly, shoot, and punch in this exhilarating shooter, Bushiro teased in its announcement. Those don't miss these impressive dragon girls rampaging their way through the game. And this is this was the very first article written. This was back in September twenty second of this year, twenty twenty one. And there's a little teaser trailer which doesn't show any gameplay, I believe. But yeah, and then we do have a few screenshots. I'll put them up on the screen right now. And yeah, it's a bullet hell. Well, no, no, no okay, no, 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 not probably not a bullet hell. I'm just gonna say a shoot 'em up or a shmup, because there is a difference between bullet hells and shoot 'em ups. You know. All bullet hells are shoot 'em ups, but not all shoot 'em ups are bullet hells. You know, bullet hells just means like the whole screen is just covered in bullets or projectiles, like almost all the time. That's a bullet hell, but not every, not every, not every shoot 'em up is a bullet hell. So I've I played a few of these games back in the day, in the '90s and early 2000s, back on my old computer. I mostly played uh, Demon Star. That was a really fun one, but yeah. And now we'll move on to the new st new article. This was written on November 21st, 2021. It says it just launches March 24th, 2022 in Japan. So I'm guessing for America it'll launch maybe a little later. But yeah. Yeah, well, this game will launch for PS4 and Switch on March 24th, 2022 for 4,680 yen. Publisher Bushi Road and developer Kaminari Games announced. Yep. A 5,680 yen limited edition will also be available, which includes a special box, guidebook, and I cannot read that. I guess a special card. So, yeah. Here's an overview of the game via Bushi Road, and this part of this article is why I'm making this video. So, here we go. This is the story. Toru is a dragon girl who invites herself to live with Miss Kobayashi in her apartment as her maid. Despite looking down on humans, she loves Miss Kobayashi, so she diligently waits on her every day, but she tends to be a bit off. Yeah, this is a comedy about a single overworked office lady and her no-good dragon maid's unusual everyday life. So that's pretty much about the anime itself, not really about the game. But yeah, I guess for people who are unfamiliar with the anime, but yeah. Okay. Key features, a completely original story with full voiceovers. So the whole game is voice acted. That's awesome. So, I mean, I still, we'll still have to read the text because, you know, 
they're not gonna they're probably not gonna be speaking English, which I hope not. If even if that's the case, I'm switching it to Japanese, but yeah. A genuine vertical scroll shooting game that shoot 'em up fans will love. I hope so. I love playing shoot 'em ups back in the day. I haven't played God, I don't think I've played any shoot 'em ups for years because they haven't really made that many. I mean, I know they I think they made some back on like the Wii and the GameCube. I just never played them because I don't know, I just Eh. I guess at the time I really didn't care for, for playing another shoot 'em up, but I guess seeing this makes me nostalgic. Plus, it's based on an anime that I love, so yeah. I haven't seen season two yet. I, sh I need to watch season two sometime, but I love season one, so yeah. Uh, don't just shoot, hit, and blow away the enemy, okay? Collect over 30 mini dramas with illustrations, okay? And this is about the story of the game. Miss Kobayashi received an email reading I have something I want to show everyone. Upon visiting Takia's house with Toru, Kana, Elma, and Lukawa, they get swallowed up by a cursed computer, and before they knew it, were all trapped inside the computer. To escape from the computer, they must work together to clear all the games on the computer. <laughs> so the story itself is kind of goofy. I could, I could kind of see that happening in the anime, but yeah. Okay. Shoot 'em up. Play as Toru, Kana, and Elma. The Dragon Girls will talk amongst each other during the game, and Miss Kobayashi will offer her warm question mark words of support. <laughs> As you build up the D gauge, dragon gauge, you will be able to transform into a dragon and wipe out the enemies with Chorogon breath. So it's, to me, that sounds like, you know, when you do that, that's your special attack, and it's pretty much a screen wiper. Like, it wipes out all enemies on screen, except if you're, if you're fighting a boss, it just does massive damage to the boss, since those never ki kill a boss, and so that'd be way too powerful, but yeah. Use it to send swarms of enemies flying. Also, by meeting specific requirements, you can activate, I don't know how to pronounce this, Gay Kieran Spark, which makes you sexier and stronger. And that right there is why I'm right I'm making this video. I'm gonna finish reading the rest of this and then I'll get back to that. There are five total newly written endings that you can unlock based on your clear score. So it's a game that's so the better you do, the better ending you get, I guess. So yeah. Replayability. Memory fragments can be obtained through repeated play. The game features over 30 illustrations by popular illustrators, and the original illustrator... Uh, I'm going to mispronounce that so bad. Kui... I'm not even going to pronounce that. I'll just, I'll just put, probably put the name on screen right now, but yeah. Furthermore, you can listen to newly written mini-dramas that provide a glimpse into, into Toru and Friends' everyday life. Okay. And there's a list of illustrators right there, so it's in the article, so I'll, like I said, the article will be in the description. Okay, so looking at the Twitter page of this game, even though you don't play as Lukoa or the new dragon, I don't know how to pronounce her name, Ilulu? The one in Season 2 that, you know, a lot of people got mad about because she's small and has, and has big titties, but... You don't play as them, but it says Lukoa offers advice and Miss Kobayashi offers support. It doesn't say what Ilulu does, though, but I guess they'll reveal that a bit later. And there's no mention of Fenrir as well. So is he not going to be in the game at all? Or is maybe is he the one behind all this? I kind of doubt that. I kind of doubt that. He wouldn't do that. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, there's the whole mystery of solving like what's wh why that computer is cursed, why it sucked them in, and all that shit. But yeah, so it looks like, like I said, you just play as um, Toru, Kana, and Elma. So okay. And now for the main reason I wanted to make this video, because it says when you activate Genkarin Spark, it makes you sexier and stronger, so... And this game is going to be on PS4, so... Is that part of the game going to be censored? Based on what we've, what we've seen with Sony, with Sony do so far with anime games, that seem... I'm going to guess yes. Which is kind of sad, because I was going to get this for PS4, because... If you follow me on Twitter, I actually just got a PS5. I got that um, a little before Thanksgiving, and I was going to play it on there, so I could just play that in, like, glorious uh, 60 frames and all that. I mean, I don't know if that game would really do that as a shoot 'em up but still. I wanted to play it on my big-ass TV in my game room on my PS5. But if it's going to censor this shit, like it's going to censor that, then no, I don't want to do that. I'll get it for Switch, then. That way I can just play it in my room. Because this seems, this is always, oh, it's always a thing with anime games. Why do they got a sense of this shit in an, in anime? And it's not even just anime games, it's games that have anime graphics too. Even with Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, they censored the scene where Yuri kills herself. 
You know, instead of seeing blood, it's just, it's just pixels. And and then, but, but then when you see the CG scene, you see blood. It's like, well, what was the point of censoring it then? I don't. Mm. And yet you will. And yet Sony allows a full-on sex scene in The Last of Us Part Two. That's perfectly fine. But you know something in anime, like some anime fans of it, that's not okay. No, that's wrong. They have to. Oh, it's a. It's Defcon Four. It's Code Red. All that shit. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I could be jumping to conclusions. Maybe they won't, but. History seems to be pointing to, yes, they will censor this, so I guess we'll see what happens, because this game still isn't going to come out for a while, so, and it's going to come out in Japan first, so even so, even if they don't say anything yet, wait, no, even if they don't say anything, Japan's going to get it first, and people will report if it's censored on PlayStation, so yeah, that way I'll find out whether it is or not, and if it is, I'll get it for Switch, if it's not, Probably just get it for PS4 then, so I can play it on PS my on my PS5 in my game room. But yeah, that's all I want to talk about today. I think I've covered everything about this game. Read everything on Gematsu, looking at the Twitter page. I see a couple of the screenshots, which are probably from the ending, and one of them, yeah, one of them looks like it's a it's a beach episode. But it's like that one's not that bad. They're all wearing one piece swimsuits. There's nothing. Hope Sony doesn't get too sensitive about that. Come on. Oh, yeah, and of course, I guess one more thing. I mean, this one's obvious, but, you know, you when you play as the three characters, um, Toru, Kana, and Elma, you can't switch to one of them if their HP is at zero. I mean, well, duh, because they're knocked out. But, yeah, okay, so that that also means, you know, once one character's down, you can keep going as long as you have two or one more left. So, yeah. I just wonder, is it going to use, like, a life system, or, like, can you bring a character back if you find, like, certain power-ups or something? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. More information is still coming out about this game, you know. It's... You can follow his Twitter page. I've been following his Twitter page ever since it was announced because I wanted to learn more about this. But yeah, we'll see what, what this game has in store for us. And this will be, when I get this, it'll be the first time I've, I'll play a shoot 'em up in years. So yeah, I'm kind of happy about that. <laughs> but that's all I wanted to say. I, wanted to, I just wanted to say that this game might get censored on PlayStation because you know we've seen what happens with anime based games, they get censored. So. And with that, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about this game in the comment section below. I'm still surprised that they're making a game based off Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, but that's cool. I like the anime, so I'll, I'll get this game. I'll give it a try. Might give me some nostalgia since it's a, sh it's a shoot 'em up. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Unless they say um, if, this, if this game is going to get censored, I might not make another video on it. I honestly can't think of anything else I could talk about with this game, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, check out my Patreon, all that good social media jazz. And I'll see you guys next time. Remember to wash your hands, keep your distance, wear a mask, and most important, have a great day. Bye. Wow, I still can't believe I'm make I'm still making censorship videos and it's not about Senran Kagura. <laughs> and speaking of Senran Kagura, when it said you get the memory fragments through repeated play, that kinda sounds like something you do in um Senran Kagura Reflections, that dating sim on Switch, you know, you replay the game, you go on different paths, get the different colors, and you get all of them, then you get the true ending for that girl, so it sounds like that's kind of what they're going for here. It might be a little different here, but yeah, that's kind of the first thing I thought of when it said you get the memory fragments through repeated play. So you just play the game over and over to get all of them. It's kind of like, like you said, go back to Senran Kagura Reflection, just uh, play the girl's story again, just go on a different path, get all of them, and you get the true ending. So yeah. And I can't help but notice that, you know... You get that Genkuren spark, it makes you sexier and stronger, and one of the characters you play as is Kana. Yeah, I can just see the FBI going to everyone's house who plays as Kana and activates that mode. Yeah, this is what's going to happen to you.